Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to install a Nest Doorbell Wired, which is the second generation Nest Doorbell that just came out in the fall of 2022. So let's get started installing this Nest Doorbell Wired. The first thing that we need to do is cut off power to the existing doorbell. So currently, if I press it, you can hear it works, and we need to cut that power off. So go down to your circuit breaker and find the circuit breaker that will turn off your doorbell and then test your doorbell to make sure that the power is off before you start working on it. So right now we're going to go down to our circuit breaker and turn the power off. We went down to the circuit breaker and cut off the power to the existing doorbell. You can see it no longer rings when I press it and the light is off. So now we're ready to remove the existing doorbell from the wall it's on. We've got the existing doorbell removed and we've got the wires exposed that we're going to need for installing the new Nest doorbell wired. Now, you may have a red and white or both white or both red wires. It really doesn't matter as long as your existing doorbell was currently working. All you're gonna do here is just remove these two existing wires and then we're gonna use those to install the new Nest wired doorbell. We've got both of our wires free, which means we're ready to get the new doorbell installed. The Nest doorbell comes with both a thinner mounting bracket and it also has a wedge or angled plate. And the purpose of the wedge or angled plate is if you wanna get the doorbell adjusted so that you have a field of view that is pointing this way, or if you want the field of view pointing the other direction, you flip it around and you can then angle your doorbell one way or the other. So if your doorbell is offset from your door or you have a particular field of view you want, angling or using this angled plate uh, is gonna help you with that. Now, if you don't wanna use the angled plate, you can just install this plate uh, right to your surface and then install the doorbell, no problems, because this is the mounting bracket. With the actual mounting plate and the wedge, you're just gonna slide the wires through there and then you would have that angled option for mounting this if you wanted. So we're going to mount it with the wedge. We'll try that out first. And uh, then all you've got here at the top is a little screw that holds in the doorbell in place. So you wanna make sure you have that right side up. And you can see at the top of the doorbell right there, there's a little screw that's gonna hold that in place and lock it in. So you have to have this little stub right side up or at the top of the doorbell. So let's go ahead and get our mounting brackets mounted, make sure our wires are coming right through here. And then we're gonna mount the doorbell on the back and wire it up. Now we've got the Nest doorbell back plate and angled plate installed where we want them. If you need to make any adjustments uh, for levelness, go ahead and do that now before you finally tighten down the screws. And now we're gonna wire up our Nest doorbell wired to the existing doorbell wiring. Now it's important to note that this doorbell does require a continuous wired power source from a transformer that puts out between 16 and 24 volts. So you have to make sure your existing transformer will have that much voltage. In my experience, most homes that have a newer doorbell transformer, let's say after 1990, uh, you're gonna have enough power for these. Sometimes you're not. If you don't have enough power with your existing transformer, we've got a whole nother video that shows you how to replace a transformer and how to wire up a transformer. So take a look at that in the description below. Those videos are gonna help you out if you're having any issues with that, or if you wanna measure your existing doorbell transformer voltage, we have a video that shows you how to do that as well. So check those out. Now let's get these two wires wired up to the back of the Nest doorbell wired. Before you wire up the doorbell, it's best to take out this set screw, which is going to hold the Nest doorbell on place. So just take the tool that's provided with the doorbell and remove that. And we're gonna use that eventually, so don't lose it, to secure the doorbell with that little mounting point at the end of this. Take each wire and secure it to the back of the doorbell terminals. We've got both wires secured, and now we're ready to install this on the mounting bracket. To install it on the mounting bracket, you're going to have this tab here go into that hole, and then these two 
uh, tabs right here are going to go in these two holes on the mounting plate. To get the doorbell mounted, you have to push in and then once you get it on this top tab or closely aligned and these other two tabs, you need to push down to slide it onto those tabs and lock it into place. And once you've done that, it is secure. So it may take a little wiggling it back and forth, but you have to get it on all the tabs there and then push down to secure it. You may need to shorten up the wires in there if you've got too much wire length but it should go on there and it has a really nice secure feel once you've got it locked in place. So now that we've done that, we've got our little screw here at the top. We're gonna to put that back in the top and secure that. Now that we've got the Nest doorbell wired installed, we need to go inside to the doorbell chime and we need to do some wiring in there. We're inside at our existing doorbell chime and we need to remove the existing doorbell chime cover. And that's gonna allow us to access the wiring inside of there. Now we need to install the Nest doorbell chime connector. And all we're gonna do is leave our existing wires where they are currently. And then we're gonna take the connector and put one wire onto each of these two terminals. So I'm just gonna loosen these up a little bit so I can slide that wire on. There's a sticky piece on the back here, so if you peel that paper off, you can stick it right there. It really depends on how your chime uh, cover is gonna fit over the top. Mine fits fine, so I'm not gonna stick that in place. I'm just gonna put it in there. Now we've got our Nest doorbell completely wired up and installed, and we're ready to restore the power at the circuit breaker. So let's go back to the front doorbell and get this thing powered up. Here we are at the doorbell, and I'm just gonna turn the circuit breaker back on that I turned off and restore power to this device. The Nest doorbell powered up and is currently on. Now, in order to get the Nest doorbell set up, we need to have the Google Home app downloaded and set up on our phone with a username and password. We've already done that, so we're gonna click on the Google Home app and open it up. In order to connect the Nest doorbell to the Google Home app, we're gonna click in the upper left-hand corner on this plus symbol. Now we're gonna click on set up a device. Now it says new devices or works with Google. We're gonna click on new devices right here. Then we need to choose our location and we're just going to click next. Now it's looking for devices. We're asked, what are we setting up? And we're setting up a doorbell, so I'm gonna click here. And then we're setting up the Nest doorbell wired second gen. So we're gonna click right there in the middle. Now there is a QR code on the back of this if you needed to scan that and you didn't have the piece of paper that comes with the device. But in the device box, there is this piece of paper where the QR code is located. So we're gonna scan that QR code right where my thumb is, and then that will set this up. But for whatever reason, if you lost this piece of paper, all you would do is unmount the doorbell and then you could scan that QR code right on the middle in the back of this device. And you could do that to get this set up. So let's scan the QR code. This is the screen that pops up. After we scan the QR code, we're going to click continue. Here, we're just going to agree. Now we need to look at the usage guidelines and we're going to click next. Now we need to look at the privacy guidelines. We're gonna click next. It says help Google improve Nest doorbell. I'm gonna click no thanks. And it says without touching any wires, check your transformers output. We're going to click next. We've already done this, so we're Not going to click it. next. Now we're going to click next again. Next, 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 next. And we've got two. We're going to click next. And this is what we've got, next. And we're gonna label this the front door. Next, 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 next. And we do wanna use a wedge, so we're gonna click next. And next, 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 all the way through this.
it says trying to connect. Now we need to choose our Wi-Fi network and click next. Now our device is connected. Finishing up, this could take a while. Now we need to give this a name. I'm just going to say front yard, next. Downloading an update. Installing the update. All right, you can see we've got our Nest doorbell set up and installed. You can see me on live camera right here and the camera as well. So I'm going to click next. Camera on, it says a green light will turn on or remain on whenever your camera is active. So we've got the green light there. Live viewing, click next. We do want our video recording on, we're gonna click next. We do want our microphone on, so let's click next. And we do want audio recording, so we're gonna click next. Test your chime. All right, our chime works perfect. Let's click next. English works, click next. Familiar face detection. We're just going to click uh, choose cameras. We'll do the front yard doorbell there, click next. No thanks. We're all set, click done. Now let's click here to look at the doorbell. All right, and there you can see the live view of uh, the camera and the doorbell. So, so far I think the resolution is great on this camera. I do like its smaller form factor than the Nest battery powered. So the Nest wired is significantly smaller than the Nest battery powered doorbell, but it does require that it is wired up all the time with the transformer. You can click over here and see your history and event details and I can scroll through this. And then if I click down here, I can click on more. I can turn the camera on or off. You've got quiet time or quick responses. So the quiet time will mute your uh, doorbell chime. And then up here, you've got more settings. You can click in here and you can edit all these settings. So we're gonna have another video that reviews this device and shows you how to use it and some other things that you can do with this device. But thank you for watching this video on how to install your Nest doorbell wired second generation or your Google Nest doorbell wired. So this is the Nest doorbell that launched in the fall of 2022. We've got other videos for other Nest doorbell variations, so check those out below if you didn't find the right thing. But thank you for watching this video, and if you wanna support us, please subscribe, click the like button, or you can click on any of the links below in the description. So thank you, and we'll see you next time.